That first trek of 1847, organized and led by Brigham Young, is described by historians as one of the great epics of United States history. Mormon pioneers by the hundreds suffered and died from disease, exposure, or starvation. There were some who, lacking wagons and teams, literally walked the 1,300 miles across the plains and through the mountains, pushing and pulling handcarts. As the long, painful struggle approached this welcome end, a jubilant spirit filled each heart. Tired feet and weary bodies somehow found new strength. Time marked pages of a dusty pioneer journal speak movingly to us. I quote, We bowed ourselves down in humble prayer to Almighty God with hearts full of thanksgiving to Him and dedicated this land unto Him for the dwelling place of His people. Close quote. We honor those who endured such incredible hardships. We praise their names. We reflect on their sacrifices. The question remains, what about our time? Are there pioneering experiences for us, for you, and for me? Will future generations reflect with gratitude on our efforts, our examples? Wherever you are this night, be pioneers in courage, in faith, in charity, in determination. You can strengthen one another. You have the capacity to notice the unnoticed. When you have eyes to see, ears to hear, and hearts to feel, you can reach out and rescue others of your age. From Proverbs comes the counsel, Ponder the path of thy feet. We're starting on a journey, we're following the light. It's giving us direction, leading us through life. We'll follow where it leads us, wherever it may be. Whether to a land of promise or through the stormy seas, no matter how far, we're not afraid. His love will light the way. So we will stand up. Live our lives with faith Lift the foes around us And help them all 
can make it last a little longer, a little longer. The time we had went by too fast. The bonds between us, they've grown stronger. We walked along this road together.
bring peace to my soul Finally tasting the truth The things I've been praying to know Now with every breath that I breathe I want to live so it shines through me Shine on, shine on for the whole world to see Hold on to the gift of believing Be strong, walk on In the light of the one Who will love and lead us along Shine on Taking the faith I have found And putting it all on the line Trusting the promise is real Changing my heart and my life Standing true to what I believe I'm gonna live so it shines through me Shine on, shine on For the whole world to see Hold on to the gift of believing Be strong, walk on In the light of the one Who will love and lead us along Shine on And shine the way to Him Shine on, shine on For the whole world to see Hold on to the gift of believing Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Captain James Allen of the United States Army. I have been sent here by Colonel Stephen Kearney of Fort Leavenworth. He is acting under the direction and authority of the very President of the United States of America, namely James Polk. You may not know it, but we are at war with Mexico. That's why I've been sent here. I'm here to call forth every able-bodied man to do his duty for his country to enlist voluntarily in this, the United States Army. <laughs> Gentlemen, you will be paid for your efforts. This money can be used at your discretion to help your family still journeying. You'll also be fed and clothed, given uniforms. Who's going to look after our women? You made us see our <laughs> we only have trees that would be left behind. Like I said, this is a volunteer mission. But if you have any any loyalty to your country, I'm not leaving my wife. We're not going. How are we going to feed your wife with no money? Daniel, we need to talk. Yeah, do we get a gun? You get uniforms. You get weapons. You get food. You get provisions. You get to provide for your family. Let us suppose we are admitted to the Union as a state and the government did not call on us, we would feel ourselves neglected. Let the Mormons be the first men to set their feet on the soil of California. This is the first offer we've had from the government to benefit us. They will pay us. We can use that pay to feed our families and buy supplies. I promise you in the name of the Lord, that if you will volunteer, leave your families, that you will be carefully provided for. And I promise you that if you will be faithful soldiers, if you will keep the commandments of God, and abide by the counsels of your leaders, and conduct yourselves properly, you will not have to shoot one bullet in anger, and become entangled in any war. 
but will be preserved. Young man, do your duty. Captain Allen. Gentlemen, have you made your decision? Do we have to push yeah. the um, yeah. I don't know, yeah. I'm yeah. coming. Yeah. We'll go, we'll go.
miles to travel, mountains to climb, worlds to conquer along the road. There are golden summers, futures to find. Whisper a prayer, and off we go. Times when you might feel aimless, you can't see the places where you belong, but you will find that there is a purpose, it's been there within you all along. And when you're near it, you can almost hear it. It's like a symphony Just keep listening
symphony. Just keep listening, and pretty soon you'll start to figure out your part. Everyone plays a piece, and there are melodies. I first heard about Shrek, I think it was the um, idea of uh, reenacting the Pioneer Trek, which excited me the most. It was an opportunity to do something really cool. So, yeah, I was pretty pumped. It's been great to have the support of the family. They're always there saying, come on, you can do it, just push through. And it's great to have those people behind you and helping you to make it to the end. I love the atmosphere. I think. We were all like really positive and like uplifting through the whole entire thing. I loved the, um, even though we were like emotionally and mentally like drained and uh, people like at the women's just like don't do that. And I don't know, I think I loved, um, yeah, just the positivity and encouragement everyone had, even though them themselves were struggling, they were still willing to support others. They were great because they were just so encouraging and um, helping us get through everything and pushing us along. So, yeah. We got on uh, really well as a family. Like, we came up with our own little company song and then company chant. It's been really good to get to know, like, uh, become closer, I guess, with the people I knew and then the people who I didn't know. Like, from day one, we were all just, I, I couldn't believe how privilege I was to have such a good family. We all got along straight away and we were all like chanting and um, coming up with a new song. It's pretty awesome. We thought we were going to um, come on the trek and do the whole, oh, we got our circle and uh, no, we, we definitely felt everyone open up so um, we kind of felt like we needed to show the same love back. And, um, now we couldn't have done the trek with um, any other people and like we mean it from the heart. All the families getting put together came, um, came together exactly like a Tetris block. Like um, everyone's personality was put in there for a reason. And, um, they just all fit into the slot. Amy was looking out for us so much. She had air guard sunscreen, she had everything, blankets. She was so prepared. It was, it was just wonderful knowing she was there for us. And President Gibson was absolutely fun. Um, we had games, we laughed, we had so much fun together as well. And like I didn't know anyone and now I feel like I know them like my brother and sister. Um, my faith has definitely been strengthened, um, especially with the power of prayer because um, I was giving a blessing um, halfway through Trek and I felt like every single word that was said was for me and I, I really needed to hear that. Prayer is like a number one resource. The thing you need to fall back on is prayer. When, whenever you're going through a trial or a challenge, you fall back on prayer. Because as soon as you start talking to your Father in Heaven, He'll communicate back with you and He'll give you blessings and the strength to um, go through anything in this trip. I knew that Heavenly Father was always the same to me. Every time I said a prayer, I always needed help. He was always going to be there for me. He was, he was my constant companion. Prayer was was always first priority to me because without it I noticed that um, I wasn't as strong as I can be without prayer, like asking the Lord to help me. I like have a really strong, solid testimony about faith 
it grew so much in Trey. And like, um, knowing that my father does live, and I'm so grateful. You know that the Savior lives and the pioneers, what they went through was, was actually meant to happen for us to be in this church. Right? Without them, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be here. My testimony has um, increased a lot over the past three days on track. Um, being able to experience just a little bit of what the pioneers had to experience in that time, it's really opened my eyes and it's strengthened my testimony because I know that they knew that what they were doing was the right thing to do because of their faith. My own faith has been able to be shown and my testimony has grown. There were times where I wanted to quit because um, I was too tired or it was too far for me. But um, the, there was one young woman who was my sister on the trek and she really encouraged me. Like She was smaller than me, like she was half my size, but she pushed more than me. And um, she always encouraged me to keep going, not to quit. Like, I walked so far, and I think um, that I need to put more faith in Jesus Christ and that I now have more faith in Him.